What's going on everyone? Gourmet here with FM Base. Today we're going to be talking about a 4114 Tiki Taka by SNG. I know him by Snuggy. You guys can download it over on our website at fmbase.co.uk. There'll be a link down in the description below. I had to search a little bit uh, for a tactic to test for today's video. And I got to the third page and I found this tactic by SNG. This tactic has two false nines, which you don't really see false nines very often in any tactic, really. But this tactic has two false nines. It is very, very solid, scores a boatload of goals, tested it with three different teams, and two of them won their leagues. So that is what we will be going over in today's video. Once again, if you guys like this tactic, there will be a link down below that will take you to our website where you guys can download it from. If you guys do enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. Also leave a comment for what tactics you guys want to see in the future here on FM Base. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, like I said, it is a 4-1-1-4 and... Usually you do not see any tactics like this. It's pretty offensive, very, very solid, but still pretty solid defensively as well. This tactic is very, very good all around, scores a boatload of goals. Like I said, one of the teams we tested with was Liverpool and they scored 123 goals in the league, which is not easy to do. So this tactic can definitely put the ball in the back of the net. Now, like I said, it features two false nines up top. Also has two inverted wingbacks on attack. Inverted wingbacks are very, very good this year in FM22. And Snuggy likes to use inverted wingbacks. And a majority of the time, they're absolute units. You guys will see in today's video that these inverted wingbacks are absolute beasts within this tactic. Now, getting started with things up top. On the left false nine, there are no instructions added. On the right false nine, same thing there. Then we've got an inside forward on attack on the left side with no instructions added. A winger on attack on the right side. Only instruction that was added was roam from position. Then we have a central midfielder on support. Only instruction added is get further forward. Then we have a defensive midfielder on defend. No added instructions. Then on the left inverted wing back on attack. Nothing added. Right inverted wing back on attack. All that's added there is dribble more. The central defender on defend on the left has nothing added. Central defender on the right has nothing added. And the sweep keeper on defend has take fewer risks and tackle harder added to its instructions. It is played with a positive mentality. If you want to go all out attack and need that extra goal in the deaths of the game, definitely feel free to go attacking. Positive mentality, I would recommend to go with this tactic or balance. Uh, only go full out attacking if you are in the death of the game to where it's like the 85th minute on or maybe 80th minute. That is the earliest that I would probably switch to attacking uh, to get that extra goal for your side. Now, once in possession, it is played fairly narrow, underlap on the left, overlap on the right, play out from the defense, work the ball into the box, shorter passing directness, higher tempo, and be more expressive. When in transition, counter press, counter, and roll the ball out. And once out of possession, use the offside trap, much higher line of engagement, and a higher defensive line. Much more often, trigger press, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and get stuck in. And like always, if you guys are suffering from a lot of yellow cards or red cards, definitely feel free to take get stuck in off. Uh, it will definitely reduce the amount of cards that your team takes. Or put it on stay on feet. I've noticed from doing personal tests uh, with whatever tactic I may be testing, stay on feet allows your team to go in much more smarter uh, with winning the ball. So if you are struggling with cards, either just take off, get stuck in, or switch to stay on feet. It is a pretty, pretty solid option to use. But yeah, that is the tactic. Let's see the results from this test. All right, so result-wise, we're going to go from worst to first. So RB Leipzig was the team that did not win the league. So we were two for three in winning the league. RB Leipzig finished in third. That's where they're supposed to finish in reality anyways. 
Uh, even though in reality it's looking like they might not finish in third. Uh, Bundesliga very, very tight this season, although Bayern Munich won it for the 10th time. But RB Leipzig, they finished in third on 70 points. They got knocked out in the first round of the Champions League by Man City, which glad that they went through in the Champions League because in reality they were in the Europa League, then the Dia Pokal. They underachieved by getting knocked out in the third round by VFB Stuttgart. So definitely wish that RB Leipzig performed a little bit better. But Yusuf Paulson down here scoring 17 goals. Dominic Sabroslai getting 12 assists. Pretty, pretty solid. But let's see what the next team did in the competitions. Next up, we have got Real Madrid. Real Madrid won the league on 98 points. Did very, very well in the league. They have two absolutely insane results that I want to look over with you guys in a moment. And then they got knocked out in the quarterfinal by PSG in the Champions League. Were runners up in the Spanish Cup and got knocked out in the semifinal of the Spanish Super Cup by Barcelona. They lost the Spanish Cup to Valencia on penalties, which is unfortunate. But in the league, Kareem Benzema with 18 goals and Luka Modric with 15 assists. So that is absolutely phenomenal. But like I said, I wanted to look at some games that they played. Now, Granada, they beat 7-0. That's kind of like kind of expected. Granada are a kind of solid team. But Real Madrid are just too, too good. But as you guys can see here, Real Madrid beat Atletico Madrid 9-1 to with this tactic. 9-1 to earlier on in the season. They beat them 9-1. to Eder Militao had a goal. Karim Benzema had a goal. Vinicius Jr. with two. Lucas Vasquez with two. Jose Jimenez had an own goal. And then Marco Asensio with two. I unfortunately cannot view the match like highlight wise because it was too early on but one that you guys will see in a bit is when they played athletic bill bow they beat athletic bill bow 7-0 at the Bernabeu, which is absolutely phenomenal denny carvajal had a goal lucas vasquez with one vinicius jr with two luka jovic with two and nacho fernandez with one as well this tactic can definitely definitely score goals so here we have the team that absolutely blew me away from this tactic test. We've got Liverpool. They finished on 101 points, 92 goal differential, only lost three games, drew two, won 33. Absolutely phenomenal. They won the Champions League by beating PSG 2-0, which Real Madrid got knocked out by PSG in the quarterfinals. They won the FA Cup by a score of 3-1 over Everton, so Merseyside Derby there. And then they won the Carabao Cup over Man City by a score of 3-2. So, very, very happy with the results that we got from this test. Liverpool, absolutely phenomenal. As you guys can see down here, Mohamed Salah with 32 goals in the league and Sadio Mane with 15 assists. Andy Robertson's highest average rating on the team at 8.01 for the season in the league. That's absolutely phenomenal. But going a little bit more in-depth with Liverpool, they scored 123 league goals. They had the most shots in the league, fewest shots against in the league. They were in sixth for best pass completion with 89%. They were in third for most possession with 55%. Most tackles won in third with 700. Most dribbles made, they were not in. Most clean sheets, however, they were. They had 18 clean sheets, and they only conceded 31 goals. So this tactic absolutely phenomenal from a total team perspective and now we're looking at the player overview side of things Mo Salah had 32 goals winning the league then we got Sadio Mane with 15 assists Andy Robertson with 13 Trent Alexander-Arnold with 11 Mo Salah with 10 most shots Virgil van Dijk and Mo Salah in there most player of the match performances Mo Salah with 7 Trent Alexander-Arnold with 6 Andy Robertson with 5 most key passes, Andy Robertson with 137 and Trent Alexander-Arnold with 131. Those are those inverted wingbacks on attack putting in work right there. Then you got best pass completion. No one was in. Most tackles won. No one in either, nor dribbles made. But clean sheets, Allison had 17. Fewest conceded, Allison was in second for fewest conceded. This tactic is absolutely phenomenal. Really, really like it. Even though it is playing two false nines and it's more of a support type role, they balled out with this tactic and the inverted wingbacks on attack 
did very, very well playmaking-wise, as you guys could see with Andy Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold. Yes, they are both elite-type talents, but seeing what they can do as inverted wingbacks when they usually play as a wingback or a fullback in reality is very, very impressive. Let's see how this tactic performs within the match engine. Well, after seeing how this tactic performs within the match engine, all I can say is, wow, that tactic looks absolutely phenomenal. Everyone contributes. You get to see the inverted wingbacks really have an influence playmaking-wise, goal-scoring-wise. The false nine, especially with Real Madrid, when you saw Benzema drop in deep, get that over-the-top pass, I mean... It's absolutely phenomenal. Definitely, if you are going to use this tactic, make sure that you have some strikers that have some playmaking ability to them, such as a Kareem Benzema, a Mo Salah, uh, a Harry Kane, a, a striker that can move about the ball, has a little bit of agility, but can still put the ball in the back of the net, of course. Uh, Gabriel Jesus is another one that you could probably put in there as well. But, yeah, this tactic looks absolutely phenomenal within the match engine. The results are amazing. Very, very happy with the quadruple from Liverpool and Real Madrid winning the league. RB Leipzig finishing in third, uh, which they did a little bit better in the DFB Pokal. But, overall, very, very happy with everyone's performance. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys want to download this tactic, it is on our website over at fmbase.co.uk. There is a link down in the description that you guys can visit to download this tactic from. Once again, you guys got to go like three pages in, and that is where this tactic is. Uh, but yeah, this tactic is absolutely phenomenal. Definitely, definitely give it a go. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys get on using this tactic, or if you guys have used it already before, uh, definitely let me know how you guys have done with it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.